Hey, my name is Jody Hoagland, Global Evangelist for Storage at Dell Technologies. And today we've got Drew Schulke, uh, VP of Product Management, uh, to talk about some, some critical aspects of mission critical storage. Yeah, thanks Jody. Yeah, and we like to say architecture matters. Um, and we think about mission critical, we think, hey, what are, the, what are the applications that are absolutely indispensable for my business and what sort of storage are we going to put behind it? So there's a really high bar in terms of you know, expectations on uptime and resilience and performance associated with that. And look, there's this concept of you know, out in the marketplace of something called LUN ownership. Now, ownership usually has a positive connotation, Jody. Right. Right? Positive thing. Well, in this particular case, we're going to walk through why you want to be you know, a little bit careful and make sure you understand exactly how this works. And we're going to turn up the contrast to the architecture that PowerMax supports in supporting this. So we have up on the board here an example of two storage systems, and we're going to keep it simple with that each of them have four controllers, A, B, C, and D, and there's a bunch of LUNs associated with it uh, down below. And you know, let's say, for example, in, in this case, we're going to keep the math easy, that you know, all of these controllers are running at about 50% you know, utilization. Um, so, you know, J Jody, as a storage admin, you feeling pretty good about 50%? It's, it's a good starting point. It's a good place to be. It's a good place uh, to be. I'm not running hot, you know. And, yeah, I'm, and I'm, and I'm getting, not underutilized I'm either. I'm getting my money's worth. You are. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Now, what we're going to talk about here, though, is like these are mission critical systems, so they, they need to handle failure as well. And, you know, the way that we, you know, support all these LUNs uh, in the PowerMac architecture is any one of these controllers can serve the I.O. to any of these LUNs down below. Um, which so we've makes, got like a global resource pool. Exactly, right? Which means that it's incredibly resilient and it means that you can handle failures, you know, without much of an issue. So let's go through the example here, which is, okay, it's a bad day, controller B dies. You know, at that point in time, what we're going to go do is we're going to take all the I.O. that was heading the controller B and we're going to move it to A, C, and D. So by quick math here, this says we sort of jump up to about a 67% utilization. Now, that gets my attention, but I'm not, I'm not in panic mode at 67%. I'm unlikely to be seeing any sort of throughput you know, or, or performance impact associated with that. Non-impeding. Non-impeding, yeah. But you, know, you did get my attention, and obviously I've got to go you know, get a controller uh, addressed. Let's turn up the contrast through this LUN ownership. And the key thing that you need to understand here is that with LUN ownership, each one of these controllers gets basically assigned to a LUN. So you think about this as like swim lanes down below. Um, and the expectation is all of the IOs for these LUNs are going to go through controller A. Now, you're going to set up a process because you expect this to be highly available. Well, you're, you'll go through and you'll pair you know, these controllers up, which says, hey, I'm going to pair B to C. So if anything were to happen to B, I expect C to step in and take over the I.O. for that. Uh, for the sounds, lungs. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, but let's just take it through this very realistic scenario here of that same four controller architecture running at 50% utilization and same exact failure mode. We lose node B. Now all the I.O.s that were associated with controller B are having to go to C because that's who I paired it to. And, you know, lo and behold, my utilization on node C just went to 100%. Now, I was born at night, not last night, but 100 is bad. 100 is bad. That, that's, uh, that's I'm getting phone calls, and yeah. it's, it's not somebody telling me I'm doing a good job. Yeah, the, uh, the industry term for this is having a very bad day. Yeah. Um, yeah, not only did I lose a controller, now I've got you know, this particular controller that's, that's cranking through the roof, all the applications tied to these LUNs are undoubtedly seeing performance issues. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting phone calls, right? I mean, the Latency app, is increasing. Latency <laughs> is increasing. Yeah. Now, Jody, you would think addressing this would be easy, right? You'd hope so. Mission critical storage, you know, extreme high levels of enterprise design. Yeah. I would hope that I would have an easy way to overcome this. Yeah, because what you want to go do is you want to start kind of moving these lawns and reassigning lawn ownership. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like using command line interface because that's what you're going to need to be diving into to start reassigning those lawns. And beyond that, look at moving lawns around. You know, you, you don't do that quickly. You, you need to account for things in the hardware in terms of like where cache is and things like this. And so, 
it's going to take you a, a very long time and there's going to be some recommendations like after you do something you wait like 30, 60 minutes, um, like your, your bad day just got worse because you want to fix it, you know how to fix it, but you're handcuffed in terms of how fast you can go do it. Yeah, I think in conversations I have globally, Drew, uh, around primary storage in general, simplicity is key in, in modern day. Yeah, people will, will actually ask questions around design and architecture and management of that architecture about driving simplicity, making it easy, because they don't have the resources that are dedicated in these environments. Uh, like, you know, for example, years and years ago, a few decades, you had to have a degree in you know, rocket science and storage administration you know, to administer storage, but those days are gone. Uh, everybody needs and demands simplicity. And I think what you've illustrated here clearly shows the advancements in PowerMax clearly, but also in our, our principle at Dell Technologies, driving primary storage and doing things autonomously yeah. and having an autonomous framework for storage. Yeah. And, and, and at the underpinnings of all of that are the key architect architectural decisions that you make. So right. thus the title of our series here, Architecture Matters. So, hey, everybody, I hope you found that useful. Uh, the topic of mission critical storage is an important one. Um, you know, an area that you want to go off and make sure that you inspect as you make those future decisions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.